Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And today we've got a quick article here on Variety.com. And uh, I always like to give credit, so there you go. Variety.com is where you can find it. And the article is by Joe Otterston. And what are we talking about here? Netflix orders Kung Fu Panda animated series with Jack Black returning as Poe. you love to see it. And I think this has potential. I really do. Now... I was a really big skeptic. I got to admit here. There was a show called Monsters at Work. Okay. Monsters at Work. Let's take a look at this one really fast. Uh, images. This is a show right here. Monsters at Work. You got uh, Taylor, this new monster. We got the whole gang here. And when I first heard about this show, I was skeptical. I'm like, you know, Monsters, Inc. is one of like the greatest movies of all time. Uh, I actually made a, t a Pixar tier list just a couple days ago, and you guys could see I put that as my number two favorite Pixar film of all time. Uh, of course, Toy Story was number one, by the way. But um, Monsters, Inc., beloved film franchise, beloved film. Monsters University was a eh, <laughs> very iffy movie there. But um, Monsters at Work, when I heard this co was coming out, I said... It's not going to live up to the original. You know, I, I said, I said that to myself. I'm like, this is a sequel to monsters Inc. Is this a joke? Like they're never going to be able to capture that like essence again. And I was wrong. I, I was, I was dead wrong. I, I watched the show. I love this show. I think it's amazing. I think they actually did capture the essence of the original monsters Inc. The only gripe I had, I really wanted to see Randall. I kind of wanted to see Randall again. Like, Whatever happened to Randall, and I guess it would have been cool to see Mr. Waternoose in jail, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. You know, I can understand why they didn't go down that direction, but I really think the show needed a villain. They, they tried to have this, char this character in the back. He's voiced by the guy that does Randall, uh, the green guy with the eye eyeballs here. Uh, I can't remember his name, but... Um, that character, the guy with the green eyeballs, he kind of plays sort of a, a little bit of a villain antagonist role. But, uh, oh, here's a better image of him. Yeah, there he is. This guy, the green guy with the eyeballs. Um, he kind of plays that sort of antagonist role, but nobody does it like Randall. Randall is just... <laughs> Randall is too good. You can't replace Randall. So I, I was just a little bit sad we didn't get to see Randall. But uh, this show was really good. And now that I'm seeing that, you know, it's... We're getting a new animated series with Jack Black returning as Poe. Um, and I'm not, it's not exactly clear if this is going to be a sequel series to uh, Kung, Fu, Kung Fu Panda 3, right? Like, is this a sequ sequel series to that? Is this like a, a completely different like reboot or a spinoff or like, I don't know. But um, I, I think there's a lot of potential here if they continue off right from Kung Fu Panda 3. That could be really, really good. I would. I'm definitely probably gonna watch this. The fact that Jack, Black, like, if the lore is canon, I really, I love the Kung Fu Panda. I love all these films. They're really good. But like, I want the lore to be real. And I know that there was a show back when I was a kid. I like, or t not, not when I was a kid. When I was a teenager. When I was like towards my, I don't know, eight, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a show, a Kung Fu Panda show. I did see a couple episodes here and there, but like, um, it, it felt like weird. I think like not all the characters were like voiced by the movie characters and you know, it felt a little bit off. It felt like an off brand, uh, kind of show. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, let's read just, it's only one paragraph long. Let's see what, what they have to say. Netflix has commissioned a new Kung Fu Panda animated series with Jack Black returning to voice the main character Poe and you love to see it. Jack Black is one of my favorite of, uh, well, not just voice actor, like actors in general, Jack Black, Jim Carrey, and Mike Myers. You got to have Austin Powers. These are my three favorite uh, actors of all time. They're just so funny. They make me laugh every time. Anytime I see these actors, I just like, I, I get a smile on my face. Steve Carell is another one, but like, uh, yeah, he's in there as like a fourth or a fifth, whatever. <laughs> Poor Steve Carell. He just got sidelined, but, um, let's keep going here. So I'm excited. Jack Black, as soon as Jack Black's name is attached, now I'm excited in the series titled Kung Fu Panda, the dragon knight. So that's the name of the show. A mysterious pair of weasels, weasels. Okay. Uh, set their sights 
on a collection of four powerful weapons. Oh my god, are they the Ninja Turtle? <laughs> the Teenage Mutant Weasel Turtles? Oh wait, no, 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 wait, wait. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Weasels? <laughs> Let me guess, one of the weapons, okay, four weapons. There's going to be a sword, there's going to be a, a pole, there's going to be a sigh, and there's going to be, uh, what is Michael, oh, nunchucks, you got to have the nunchucks in there. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the Teenage Mutant Weasels. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I hope they don't go for the Ninja Turtle route here. Uh, Poe must leave his home to embark on a globe-trotting quest for redemption and justice that finds him partnered up with a no-nonsense English knight. An English knight? Okay. Uh, named Wandering Bl Like, he's not human, though, right? Like, <laughs> he's not human, is he? Uh, this is gonna... Wait, have, have they ever confirmed if humans exist in Kung Fu Panda? Is there humans? I don't think there is, right? Okay, the Wandering Knight. He's probably, like, some kind of, like, bird or something. I don't know. The Wandering Blade. Maybe it's just another turtle or something, you know? Master Uigwe or Uigwe, whatever the hell his name was. Um, yeah, so this English knight, he's probably an animal. There's no way it's a human. That'd be weird. Um, together, these two mismatched warriors set out on an epic adventure to find the magical weapons first and save the world from destruction. They may even learn a thing or two from each other along the way. Okay, I, I, I like that. I, I really, really like that. Um, and it does say here, this series marks Black's first time back as Poe since the 2016 film Kung Fu Panda 3. I feel old. Holy shit. Are you, 2016? It's already been like six years since that came out. Wow. Wow. This is great. Man, time just flies. Time is just flying. But, uh, I think I covered it pretty well here, folks. There's not much more to say. I think this sounds exciting. Let me know. Do you guys think the four weapons are going to be the Ninja Turtle weapons? Are we getting a Ninja Turtle ripoff here? Is this going to be a troll? <laughs> I don't know. I want to hear. What do you guys think these weapons could be? Go ahead. List your best guesses down in the comment section down below. Can't wait to hear it. Let me know if you're excited for Jack Black. That's going to be great to have him back as Poe. And um, is this a sequel series or is this just a spinoff, like one-off gimmick? Uh, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, please like, please share, please comment, and please subscribe, folks. I do have to keep saying this, but um, oh, I got a video processing right here. But seven, when we get to 725 subs, I am going to be doing another giveaway in my Discord. Uh, $5 Amazon gift card if you're American, or if you're Canadian, you can grab yourself a Nintendo Switch $10 e-card uh eShop gift card. So there you go. That's going to be it for me, folks. Have a great day. Peace out. Bye-bye. See you later.